penetrating chest I need a room. Go to the drama team. Give me the aura. Oh, hey. Alex. You look like a million bucks, by the way. You started work tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I figured I'd sort of settle into the office and hang some pictures, and uh, then this whole bus crash thing happened. So. Right, I noticed that. I'm Shahir Hamza. I'm a neurosurgeon. Oh, hey, man, I'm Joel Gorn. I'm the orthopedic surgeon. It's gonna be weird, isn't it? Oh, Shahir? No, he's just like that. Well, I mean, you and me. I mean, you didn't invite me to the wedding, so presumably you're still in love with me. <laughs> right. I totally forgot. I like to remember the poems you wrote me, mm -hmm. the breakfasts in bed, the nurses you were banging. Okay, we can stop right no, there. No, seriously, if I'd known you'd be here, we would have invited you. If you get off early, Park Regency, Suite 918, open bar. It's not like Maggie and I are married or anything, or even in a serious relationship. Are you kidding me? Excuses, are you listening to yourself? You can't commit to anything or anyone. Including you. Yes, including me. We were living together, and that still wasn't enough for you to make an actual hey, commitment. Hey, 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 you were the one that walked out on me. Because you cheated on me. You wanted out, and you didn't have the guts, so I walked. Great, so you dodged the bullet. No, I didn't, Joel. You broke my heart. Any time that something gets serious with you, you run away. You live your life in fear. You think that you're this, this big, fearless cowboy, but the truth is, the truth is that you will never take a risk, ever. Hey! So this thing that's going on between us, the hanging out thing, it feels a lot like it did last time right before we got together. Yeah, when I screwed everything up. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. So what is this? We're just friends? particular patient of mine, somehow that would make you get better. I lost him. I refuse to lose you. You are staying here with me. Do you hear me, Huxby? You belong here. I can't hide the way I feel. And that's just the funny part. I don't even know why I believe you have ways to see
every time that you're bored, you want something new. You want something bigger, brighter, better. This is not fair. It's stuff. happening again. What we have is great until it stops being great, and then it becomes nothing. What are you talking about? You know what I'm even listening to? This is a product of your exhaustion. No, it's not exhaustion. Yes, it almost certainly is, Alex, all right? Because, you know, we need to stop and just consider what we're saying. No, I need to stop this because I know how it ends. We crash. No, we, we don't crash. crash, Alex. We make this work. We can't. We can't because I'm me and you're you. Don't. So what's it like being a patient in this place? Well, I, I heard all over, and everybody keeps prodding me, telling me what to do, and I'm so tired that I can't even make it to the end of the hall. What, to the end of that hall? You're not missing much. Well, I'm pretty much missing everything. Just saying. Well, maybe I could help you there. How? Idea. Why don't I tell you three things about yourself? And two of these things will be true. One will be less than true. What do I get if I'm right? How about I write down for you on a single piece of paper everything everything you need to know about yourself. All right, you're on. Number one, you and I prevented a viral outbreak from going pandemic by spending an afternoon in quarantine. Mm-hmm. Next. Number two, you and I once saw a cashier get shot in a gas station and you personally transfused your own blood directly into this woman's arm, thus saving her life. Oh, come on, I did not do that. Number three, medical school. We entered a dance competition and came third place out of over 100 entrants. The gas station transfusion, that, that is total BS. Is that your final answer? Am I right? You are not. What? Come on. Sorry, correct answer was number three. We never entered a dance contest. We did, but you're a terrible dancer, so I came in second <laughs> to last. Well, at least we finished ahead of one couple. That's interesting. I never said we're a couple. You didn't have to. But we are not one anymore. New, no, we are not. Okay. You didn't win. But, um... I will write this down for you anyway. And I will leave it in the lobby so that if you feel like stepping out for a walk, your prize awaits you. I like you, don't I? Joel, it's 2.31. Actually, it's about 6. Don't wake up. After seeing that teratoma, I may never sleep again. Yeah, that, that kind of makes two of us. I thought you were supposed to be leaving on a jet plane. Yes, I was actually on my way to the airport when I heard them talking about the earthquake on the radio. Anyways, I just came back here to tell you, we're not crazy. There was an earthquake. Yeah. Aren't you glad we're standing in a doorway? <laughs> Did they say what the magnitude was? They said 5.1. We can do better than that.